next report will be somewhat unorthodox for our conference. Here it's considered to be part of the camera, but I'd say it's more part of photogrammetric processing of the acquired images. It will be made by Alexander Grutischa from Migigai. He will speak about the results of the processing of remote sensing data of the extraterrestrial territories. Hello, everyone. Of course, this uh, presentation uh, does not uh, pertain to aerial photography of extraterrestrial bodies, but uh, still uh, there is some data to report on uh, what, how, how data is used. We're talking here about the research effort uh, being done under the government uh, resolution to attract uh, top leading uh, researchers into our universities. And on the subject of geodesy mapping and planet and satellite studies, uh, Jürgen Oberst, uh, from the German uh, Aerospace uh, Center, who also worked works in Berlin, is our invited uh, uh, researcher. He leads uh, our team in uh, Moscow University. He is on the right in the picture, and on the left is Lev uh, Zeloni, who uh, heads uh, the Institute of uh, Space Research. So. When MIGAC was awarded this grant, a number of uh, task forces uh, were set up at the university covering a number of fields of activities like uh, geodesy and photogrammetry. And there is a task force on spectral and mathematical analysis where I am in charge. Of course, there's the mapping group, uh, information systems and technologies. There is also a group on uh, research uh, advice and development, which includes uh, doctors of science of our university, not all of them, unfortunately, but the main task of the grant is to bring and engage young uh, specialists in the research work. Here at the bottom it says that um, uh, we use 10 engineers, uh, PhD uh, holders, Doctors of Science, the total um, total number is around uh, 50. The focus of our work at the moment uh, gravitates uh, towards the satellites of uh, Earth and Mars and other extraterrestrial bodies. We rely on the older data, legacy of the Soviet uh, aircraft for the Moon, I mean, and uh, Venus, uh, Phobos, and the data is uh, processed uh, together with the uh, recent missions that acquired uh, images uh, this century. Of course, a lot of advances have been made on the technological side and now the resolution got higher, the productivity rate increased, quality got better, but all of that has to be combined. And this is the primary task that we pursue, being able to combine the 1970s, 1980s data with the recent acquisitions. It goes without saying that such type of matching is impossible without geoinformational approach. Often we use the term GIS even though this is not GIS per se, uh, this is a set of geoinformational systems uh, linked to each specific site under study. In the early stages of the research, we looked at a number of uh, commercial and non-commercial software products. Two years ago, there wasn't a single software application that could process, do the task of uh, processing data without extra uh, capabilities that needed to be installed for our type of assignment. We're thankful to Rockers that supported us and upgraded their uh, software product that now helps to process uh, frame-based images. We're working on uh, uh, photo 
micrometric processing to uh, upgrade scanner images, and we hope that we will have uh, favorable results. There is a variety of reasons why we are failing to process some of the images at the moment, but to rectify those uh, shortcomings is what our research is all about. And uh, I must say that uh, some good results have been achieved, in particular when it comes to photogrammetry, which is not the uh, within the scope of uh, my task force. We are working on spectral analysis and uh, we integrate them with photogrammetric and other data through mathematical computation and analysis. One of the key objects which we finished processing is um, uh, Phobos uh, data. Unfortunately, uh, this work was done uh, for the Phobos uh, probe that failed to be launched, but still it uh, produced some good results. And we had to combine uh, images from various bands, uh, infrared, near infrared. And uh, we use uh, various angles, even in one channel. Uh, they all have different scale. And all of that creates additional burden on the processing uh, on the processing of imagery then this is the type of tasks we have to address in particular when it comes to uh, Mars we manage to acquire orthophoto surface for the whole uh, site including in color and by analyzing, comparing with uh, other missions, uh, we analyzed spectral data. The black color uh, shows spectral characteristics of Mars Express. We compared that against other missions, and we see discrepancy in some of the characteristics which uh, leaves its imprint on processing. All of that has to be taken into account uh, we generate albedo uh, maps, that is the reflective uh, capability of Phobos. Uh, we calculate uh, various uh, ratios, relations, and quotients, and c all of that is uh, paired against uh, outputs of the previous missions to determine uh, better uh, surface characteristics of this solar system uh, body. We also make a forecast and prediction projections on uh, the future of this site. I mean, how long uh, can it uh, survive? Generally speaking, at the extraterrestrial study laboratory, all the task forces uh, contribute a lot of uh, technology into the whole process. Some of the modules have been designed or improved to build a better digital elevation models, orthophoto plans. As for Phobos, a catalog listing 800 uh, ground control points uh, was established. Uh, model parameters uh, have been uh, uh, defined, and we also took into account some of the parameters generated from Europe and the US. These data are sometimes better in terms of accuracy of what was uh, obtained earlier. In the interest of time, I will have to skip some of the slides. In addition to Phobos, other planetary objects uh, have been analyzed. Saturn and uh, Jupiter uh, sput uh, satellites, Io and uh, Encelad. Uh, the resolution there is worse than for uh, Phobos and Luna. 
but uh, extensive uh, geodetic effort uh, was applied with regard to these planetary sites too. Simultaneously, uh, we simulated uh, dust rings of Mars, uh, Phobos and uh, Luna's uh, craters were extensively analyzed using software uh, that helps uh, to make uh, measurements and projections of uh, how these uh, craters have been uh, evolving in the solar system uh, for centuries. In the course of the uh, lifetime of our lab, a lot of work has been done and notably, uh, based on the results of uh, um, moon uh, vehicles, uh, we installed and uh, simulated uh, routes, and uh, they were uh, submitted uh, uh, to a special board that assigns names. And uh, you know that the moon uh, vehicles uh, were navigated by individuals, by pilots, and uh, the names of these people uh, gave names to craters. The laboratory's uh, Max Lab is used not only for extraterrestrial search. Uh, we develop infrastructure quite heavily. Uh, we purchase new modules. All of that is done to improve the teaching process. In order to be able to image and study the surface of the Earth. And this effort uh, will continue with the main objective of training top-level uh, specialists who will be able to process uh, remote sensing data for any type of surface or territory, be it uh, celestial bodies or uh, the surface of the Earth, the planet Earth. Thank you very much. Uh, your questions, please. We don't seem to have any questions at the moment.